ECG is a cornerstone in the diagnosis and management of cardiovascular diseases. Among its many features, the elevation of the ST segment is most famously associated with ST segment elevation myocardial infarction STEMI, a life-threatening event requiring swift intervention. However, a myriad of other conditions can also lead to ST segment elevation, making accurate diagnosis a challenging endeavor. Clinicians must be vigilant in discerning between STEMI and its mimics to ensure appropriate and timely management. Left Bundle Branch Blog, LBBB LBBB can cause secondary STT changes, with ST segment elevations in V1, V2 and ST segment depressions and T-wave inversions in leads V5, V6, AVL, and LIN lead 1. This can make recognition of an acute STEMI challenging. In LBBB, the modified SCARBASA criteria can be used to increase the predictive value for or against myocardial infarction. Benign Early Repolarization BR. Benign early repolarization is a common variant which causes ST elevation on an ECG, typically with a concave upward ST segment and absence of reciprocal changes suggestive of ischemia. Left ventricular hypertrophy LVH. Left ventricular hypertrophy can cause ST elevation on an ECG, particularly in leads V1, V3. This is due to repolarization abnormalities caused by the thickening of the left ventricle. Hyperkalemia Hyperkalemia can cause ST elevation due to depolarization of the resting membrane potential and activation of inward rectifier potassium channels, leading to changes in the myocardial action potential. Brugada syndrome Brugada syndrome is a genetic disorder that can cause ST segment elevation, particularly in leads V1 V3. The ST segment elevation is thought to be due to an imbalance of currents in the heart caused by mutations in genes that encode for ion channels. Pericarditis Pericarditis can cause ST segment elevation on an ECG due to inflammation of the pericardium. The ST segment elevation is typically diffuse and concave upward and must be distinguished from myocardial infarction. Osborne wave. The Osborne wave, also known as the J wave, is a positive deflection seen at the junction between the QRS complex and the ST segment. It is most commonly associated with hypothermia, but it can also be seen in other conditions, such as subarachnoid hemorrhage, brain injury, and ischemia. The Osborne wave is thought to be caused by an increase in the outward potassium current and a decrease in the inward calcium current, leading to delayed repolarization of the epicardial cells. This delayed repolarization causes a transmural voltage gradient that produces the ST segment elevation seen on the ECG. Hypercalcemia 
Hypercalcemia can cause ST elevation due to its effects on myocardial cell membrane potentials and increased myocardial contractility. The mechanism of hypercalcemia-induced ST segment elevation is not fully understood, it can mimic acute coronary syndrome, leading to potential misdiagnosis. Takotsubo cardiomyopathy Takotsubo cardiomyopathy can cause ST segment elevation, particularly in the anterior, precordial, leads. The ST segment elevation is thought to be due to an increase in catecholamines, which can lead to myocardial stunning and microvascular dysfunction. Takotsubo cardiomyopathy is often referred to as broken heart syndrome, it mirrors a STEMI, but arises from emotional or physical stressors. Aortic dissection Aortic dissection can cause ST segment elevation due to the involvement of the coronary arteries or the myocardium. The ST segment elevation is typically seen in the leads corresponding to the affected coronary artery or myocardial segment. Traumatic brain injury Traumatic brain injury can cause ST segment elevation due to the release of catecholamines and increased sympathetic activity. Neurogenic stunned myocardium can mimic STEMI, leading to potential misdiagnosis. Prince Metal's Angina Prince Metal's Angina, also known as Variant Angina, is caused by transient spasms of the coronary arteries, which can lead to ischemia in the heart muscle. The spasm of the coronary arteries can also cause ST-segment elevation. The ST-segment elevation in Prince Metal's Angina is typically seen in the leads corresponding to the affected coronary artery and is associated with multiple spasms involving different segments of the coronary arteries. The ST segment elevation in Prince Metal's angina is transient and reversible with vasodilators. Unlike acute STEMI, the ECG changes in Prince Metal's angina are not usually associated with myocardial necrosis. It may be impossible to differentiate Prince Metal's angina from acute STEMI based on the ECG alone. In summary, ST segment elevation is not exclusive to STEMI, various conditions can trigger this ECG pattern. Accurate differentiation is vital for patient outcomes and resource use. Mistakes could lead to delayed STEMI treatment or unnecessary interventions with serious consequences. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.